When the Purdue women's basketball team got the call to play in the WNIT tournament, they were immediately on board and ready to go the next day. Their postseason continues tomorrow in the WNIT Super 16. Head coach Katie Geralds is thankful to be able to play more basketball games and hopes her team can build off this experience. It's an opportunity for us to, to keep getting better. It's an you know, opportunity for, for me, Mark, and Alex, and, and Kelly to grow as a staff in close games too. Like It's been good opportunities for us in practice and in, in game situations just like it has been for our young kids. Let's just keep using these, these days to, to get better. Um, if not, we'd be you know just going to class, not doing a whole lot of anything. Fifth year Janae Terry capitalized on the moment, becoming the first player in the history of Big Ten men's and women's basketball to record 1,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 700 assists in a career. Just to say that nobody's done it before means a lot. Um, I just pride myself on being able to do multiple things on the floor and um, for the stats to prove it and be the one to do it um, feels amazing. Again, just whatever I can do to help her do win is what I'll do. And underclassmen like Mila Reynolds have used these games to showcase their skills and become more confident. Reynolds put up a career-high 15 points against Butler in the second round of the WNIT. I know that this year hasn't been, you know, uh, Caitlin Clark All-Star, but, uh, you know, I just stayed confident, stayed the course, just kept my head down, kept grinding. My teammates, you know, they could have looked at me like, you know what, you didn't do nothing all year, so I'm just not going to, you know, believe in you, but they did, so I'm thankful for that. Just having that, you know, small amount of pressure on your back, you know, like, you know, this could be our last game, but um, overall, I just think it's a, a good experience just to have. While the repetitions and tournament experience is great for the underclassmen on this team, the seniors are excited for another chance to play at Mackey Arena. I told KGL, I was like, well, I want to end Mackey on a win. So I'm really grateful, and so is um, Janae and um, all the girls that have played in Mackey. Just we want to win on that floor. Being able to go and play at Butler and having fans there um, was a tremendous support. But being able to play back home, like you said, I didn't know that we were going to be able to host again. But um, it's a great feeling to be back in Mackey and uh, get to play for these fans again. The Boilermakers will face Duquesne for the first time in the WNIT Super 16. Tip-off is set for tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at Mackey Arena.